Dropful, it's I, Arsene Dropful, has become the first person uh, to see anything in audiovisual. Uh, from he is the first person after Drifter uh, who visualizes the entire project, and Arsene Dropful sees it for the first mm. time. Producers come to Arsene Dropful and say, "This is my project. How do you see it?" He becomes the first person. For the writer, he becomes the first person who sees the entire thing visually. Hmm. So I say the role of cinematographer is the role of an eye. It's a long, long story, but I will make it short. I was a trained software engineer. Oh. Yeah. So uh, coming from that background, leaving everything and plunging myself into a film. I did not know why I decided it, how I decided it, but it happened. It happened because uh, somewhere down the line when I look back, I was always fascinated by the stories and the visuals and the cinematography and the camera. I would not say that I was always wanted to be cinematographer, nothing of that sort had happened to me. Films are all about acting, hmm. films are all about direction and uh, writer. Why you want to become a DOP or cinematographer? What is it, cinematographer? Mm. And also, I did not have much idea uh, what a cinematographer's role is unless I joined Film and Television Institute mm. of India. The main story happened during FTI, to be very okay. honest, because your ideas, your preconceived notions were going down the drain. You were seeing that only Hindi films and only uh, only uh, the films with song and dance are not the only thing which exists in this world. There's cinema which is much, much more beyond. There's television which is much, much more beyond. Hmm. There's documentary section hmm. which is much, much more beyond. There's short films which are much, much, much more beyond. So we were kind of breaking ourselves down hmm. completely and re-emerging and relearning everything as a craftsman. Films, if you understand, films are for the big screen. Mm -hmm. Big screen means you are seeing everything larger than life. Film is about creating that experience mm -hmm. which you can carry in you when you move out of the theater. Television is all about content. You are watching something, you are watching, you are, you are watching with mind, you are not putting your heart, you are not creating that experience. Mm -hmm. You are just creating a story that how engaging you can become in that small screen. Because on small screen, your attention span is really, really short. The content of small screen has to be really eye-catching for you, hmm. which can hook your attention and hmm. make you sit at the same place for the entire time. This is a part of life, everything that cannot be 100% all the time. Hmm. So television also teaches you how much you can invest emotionally as an artist and how much you can be satisfied with. Sometimes you have to do creative compromises, but you have to decide how much creative compromises you can do. What, what is your satisfaction and content, contentment level? What you want to be happy with? When you work with senior senior artists, like I worked with Nana Patekar, Mr. Anil Kapoor, and a few uh, days, a couple of days, I shot with Mr. Shah Rukh Khan as well. And, uh, Amit Ji has been shot a couple of days. You need to be really on your toes because they are the people who have worked much, 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 much more than how much you have even started with. When they say something, they say something with a with their experience. Mm. You need to hear them out. When I was working with Mr. Nana Patekar, he had immense value to contribute. Whether I agreed or not, that is subject to discussion. But you cannot ignore their uh, opinions and suggestions. I would say uh, our industry could do better. Mm. Uh, when it uh, comes to treat uh, your cinematographer, not only cinematographer, but other technicians, technicians. Well. Technician. I, and I hate to call cinematographers a technician because industry calls it technician, so it's a normal term for people to understand. Hmm. In European countries, particularly in Germany, cinematographers are co-authors of the film. Hmm. Like music directors, they are also given royalties. That's the level of respect. I am looking forward to the my country also gives 
to cinematographers and other uh, technical staff right now in our North uh, India and uh, uh, Hindi film industry, cinematographers are taken with respect mm -hmm. and they are being recognized and their contributions are being uh, talked about much more than earlier. It's, um, uh, art, an artist needs to be really, really young at heart all the time. Mm -hmm. So recently, mm -hmm. I'm the one, one of the few cinematographers in this country who have uh, started doing virtual reality uh, uh, short films and explore the virtual reality medium. You can say that with my experience, I don't need to venture into that because that is something very new and I don't need to explore that at all. But when I, with my, my friends called me and said, we are doing a virtual reality film, I said, oh my God, I have been reading about it for a couple of years. I always wanted to get a hands-on experience of it. How does it work? Let me jump into it. And I jumped into it like a small child. Like I, it reminded me of that I'm going back to FTI, of this new technology, which is virtual reality, which is the future. 20 years down the line, every cinema hall will have virtual reality, virtual reality set and you, we will be watching films on virtual reality. On shooting on 24, we are shooting, uh, so shift is getting delayed, and, but we have to finish Mr. Nain's shot, mm. what do you do? And in, while shooting interior, you have already created that it is a evening time. The evening, yes. Right. So while shooting in, uh, interior, you have a control. You can place your lights and create that kind of shaft. How do you do outside? It's already 5.30 in the morning. So I left my assistant to take this shot. I went down. I was scratching my head. I called my gaffer. I said, now what do we do? And I, we called the main production guy. I said, I need five rostum on 20 feet height right now. So I have ordered me the then everybody discussing I said come on line up the, all the buses all the vanity vans all the vanity vans in one line put light light stands on that put 10 lights which we had to our disposal and created those shaft and yeah. without any problem can the shot <laughs> So I would say uh, to the young cinematographer friends of mine, be passionate, never give up, and do whatever you want to do. All is yours. Hi, my name is Shanti Bhushan Roy, and uh, you are uh, watching me on uh, Telechakra. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and read the website.